Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Throughs. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and thank you once again to Bandai Namco Entertainment America for giving me the ability to do this test drive of the Gundam Delta Kai ground type. Um, it is a uh, 600 cost raid, melee priority 3, uh, usable only on ground, as a ground type should be. Uh, it's a 4 star, uh, close range slot 17, medium 19, long range 8. Before we get into the other specifics, I just want to show off what the electric defense system part does. Activates after four minutes of combat. If unit HP is at 30% or more, nullifies radar damage from attacks. I'm assuming that means that uh, things will not jam, uh, jam your radar, even if you get hit with, say, a heat rod or the jamming from an Isaac, something like that. I think that's what it means. I am not 100% sure. But uh, that is that is my best guess. So, but all right, it has uh, eighteen thousand hit points, ballistic resistance twenty, beam resistance twenty six, melee resistance of twenty, range strength of thirty five, melee strength of twenty five, movement speed one forty, uh, high speed maneuver boost speed of two fifteen, thruster gauge is seventy five, and turning speed also seventy five. Uh, let's see. Uh, enhancement values, um, plus one to range strength at 770 em enhancement points. Plus one beam, uh, plus one, uh, beam defense at, uh, 1550. 100 extra hit points at, uh, 2330. One expansion slot point in each of the three locations at 3110. If you pay DP and use uh, enhancement kits to break the first limit and go to 6220, you get plus five range strength. And if you pay more DP and more enhancement kits to get to uh, to break the second limit and go to 9330, you get uh, emergency range defense system level one, which gives you 5% damage reduction from ranged attacks when you are not uh, knocked down. So that's not bad. All right, let's take a look at the weapons. Um, okay, it's beam rifle, uh, 2200 damage. It is uh, four ammo, 350 meter range. Cooldown time, uh, five and a half seconds. Reload time, 15. Uh, lacking focus fire, but staggering foes with normal ammo-based fire. Railgun under barrel adds versatility. I think. Okay, um, next is the beam saber. Attack power 2550, cooldown time between swings two and a half seconds, which is fairly uh, standard. It is just a beam saber, the, uh, has the default description, powerful weapon that uses a beam blade to slice up foes. Uh, the 60 millimeter Vulcans do 125 damage per shot, have 50 rounds of ammo and a range of 175 meters. Reload time 13 seconds. And yeah, basic Vulcans. Shield mounted beam cannon. Um, 400 damage per shot, heat rate 16% per shot. I have a feeling it fire it fires in bursts. Range of 350 meters, cooldown time half a second, overheat 15 seconds, focus two and a half. Shield mounted beam cannon, normal fire does not suppress but offers uh, temporary rapid fire. Yep. Focus fire offers suppressing beams at the same time. Okay. I think that means, you know, I'm not sure what at the same time means there. I think it just means, you know, you can have the burst fire or a stun shot. So, Blast Bolt. It's a melee attack. Power of 2600. Cooldown between swings 10 seconds. Right after close combat damage is dealt and the enemy is blown back, explosive damage occurs and a radar jamming electric current is generated in the area of contact. No rapid combo. Note that the blowback effect will not apply to enemies directly uh, already under a status effect. Okay, so apparently, okay, so if I'm reading all that correctly, um, yeah, this is this is basically what the uh, electric defense part is meant to uh, defend against. Uh, the uh, radar jamming electric current will not affect you if you have thirty more than thirty percent of your health with after four minutes pass in the round. And you have that part equipped. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, the way this reads, though, I'm wondering... Uh, blowback effect will not apply to enemies already under a status effect. I wonder if that means if you're jammed, you do, the uh, 
everything after that, the explosive damage, the electric current, all of that doesn't happen. Uh, interesting question. Not sure how to test it because I'm sure the jamming effect does not last for 10 seconds, which is as fast as you can swing this thing. Oops, wrong button. Um, Beam Rifle Railgun fires high-speed uh, mass projectiles that can suppress the target, narrow shot radius. Has two shots, uh, 2,000 damage uh, per shot, five-second cooldown between, range 350 meters, 15-second reload. I think if it's, if it's like most railguns, it will have piercing, but we'll find out when we get there. The shield is a large shield with 5,000 hit points. And let's see, in its uh, alternate mode, it has the shield-mounted beam cannon transformed version. So you will, uh, uh, yeah, we'll have a separate heat gauge since it uh, specifies that. Um, power 500, heat rate 16%, range 400 meters, so slightly better in this form, it seems like. Cooldown to be, uh, time between bursts is a little longer, 8 tenths of a second. Overheat 15 seconds, focus time 1.5 seconds. Uh, yeah, so, uh, seems to be, uh, seems to be about the same description. Uh, the transformed version of the Blast Bolt has 2400 damage. It is a melee attack. Heat rate 100% and overheat of 25 seconds. So it is just, it is just flat out a, uh, uh, heat-based weapon, uh, in, uh, uh, Wave Rider mode. I assume the Delta Kai's alternate mode is known as a Wave Rider. I don't know. Uh, when using this weapon, Blast Bolt will temporarily shoot forth from the unit. And right after the uh, bolt uh, deals damage on contact and blows back the enemy, explosive damage is dealt to the area of contact, and a radar jamming electric current is generated. Note that the blowback effect will not apply to enemies already under status effect. Yeah, so same description, basically. Uh, wrong button again. Oh, Rob. Okay, so... Uh, yeah. Railgun. Now that has the same, uh, I'm pretty sure it has the same stats and description. Yeah, so it may, it may share a, uh, ammo gauge between modes. It may not have, uh, it may not have the, uh, ability. It may, you know, if you, words, if you, if it's reloading when you transform, you will probably not get a separate uh, meter to uh, a separate set of ammo to use with it. It will probably still be reloading while you transform. Those are the words. Okay, blast bolt goes here. Railgun goes here. Shield exists. Actually, no, I'll put the railgun down here because I usually think to hit those buttons more, uh, more than I hit, uh, think to hit triangle circle together. All right, and the skills. Assault booster level three, so it charges, its jumps get charged 60% faster. Boosts jump speed by uh, 50%. Uh, less stun, less uh, uh, stun reaction when a mid jumper while falling. But if you're boosting in the air, it does not take effect. Balancer, so you can cancel from boost into melee. Melee combo controller level one, uh, so two hit melee. With the saber, of course, there I'm pretty sure there's no combo ability on the blast bolt. Maneuver armor level three, so uh, yeah, less uh, uh, yeah diminishes reaction when hit by ranged attacks or shield destruction. Ranges uh, reduces stagger when hit consecutively. Uh, damage taken reduced by 15 percent. Yeah, so 15 percent damage reduction uh, takes more build stun to uh, stop you. And instant stuns will not, uh, and shield, uh, having your shield destroyed will not stop you. Um, that is pretty solid. Uh, force injector level three, you know, fairly standard skill, but yeah, I, I had probably forgotten that uh, the shield destroyed. Pardon the chair noises. Uh, shield that uh, it stopped you from getting uh, stunned when your shield was destroyed too. Um, also, I think I've mentioned this recently, but just in case, uh. When maneuver armor is active, anything, if you get hit with a heavy stagger, it will reduce it to a standard stun. So, uh, will not affect knockdowns, though. If you get hit with a knockdown attack, you will be knocked down regardless. Force injector level three, so fairly, uh, uh, fairly cost efficient uh, redirecting while uh, boosting. Shield tackle level one, 
Uh, you get extra damage from your tackles if your shield is intact. Emergency evasion system level 2, so it has a uh, double dodge roll. Emergency evasion with a uh, reduced strain on the thrusters. Yeah, if your thrusters are not used at all, you will be able to dodge twice before they overheat. Flight control program level 4. Uh, yeah, this lets you jump and boost in midair. Also uh, uh, reduces thruster use a uh, by 55% after midair high speed movement or actions and reduces thruster use by 50% uh, during high speed maneuvers in air. So yeah, it's uh, yeah, very boost efficient uh, midair jumping and boost boosting. Anti-blast stabilizer, you will not get heavy staggered if you're next to a mobile suit that explodes. Optimized cooling efficiency, thrusters initial consumption decreased by 10% when using high speed movement and jumping. Yeah, so it puts less of a strain on your uh, thruster gauge to start a jump or a boost. It transforms. Shield Break Stance Mastery, so you wouldn't get stunned by your shield being destroyed either way, because, yeah, that's what that does. Backbinder Special uh, Cushioning, so 15% damage reduction if, it, if the backbinders are hit. Uh, Nitro G Ability Boost. Uh, activates at 50% hit points, boosting mobility. Uh, enhanced Offense System uh, Level 1 is triggered while activated, Revealing a location of enemies within range only to your unit. Also speeds up recovery time for some status effects by 80%. Nullifies all reactions except uh, uh, stagger from cumulative damage at point of activation. So, okay, yeah. So, yeah, it, it gets a uh, uh, effect kind of like the uh, Metal Spider, where it will be able to see th uh, enemies within range ver uh, briefly when that skill activates. And unlike the radar pulses from uh, the Isaac and all those, it should not let the enemy know that they've been spotted. Uh, high performance counter program. This is standard to four stars. Executing a counter with uh, less than 50% hit points triggers a special powerful counter. All right, transformed. It still has double dodge roll. Um, or at least more boost efficient dodge roll since you're always burning a little bit of boost while transformed. I don't know if, you, if you'll get two out of it, but you might. Shock Dampeners level 1 reduces or cancels stagger after being attacked. Does not apply to toppling attacks or tackles. Yeah, so this makes it, this is fairly standard for non-support transformable uh, suits. It will keep you from getting uh, stunned out of uh, flight quite as easily. Anti-blast, so you won't get uh, knocked out of the air by, uh, by say, ramming someone to death. Uh, that's good. Optimized cooling efficiency still has the thruster uh, economy in this mode. Uh, flight, of course. Ram attack level one. Uh, while transformed, high speed movement damages any uh, target collided with. So while you're boosting, you will do damage. High boost ram attack. While transformed, maintaining high speed movement boosts speed by five and the power of ram attacks by a thousand. That's the one where you have... Um, where you get the little, like, uh, burst effect and start moving a little faster, and then you will do the extra damage. Transformed Reinforcement reduces stagger when hit by consecutive non-suppressive projectiles while transformed. So, it also, in addition to uh, stun protection, it has uh, build stun reduction in transform mode. Transformation Optimizer reduces thruster consumption when activating high-speed movement or transforming by 60%. Reduces thruster gauge consumption while moving by 25%. Yeah, so it has uh, it has a uh, really good uh, boost economy while transformed. Uh, shield break stance mastery, so you they can't uh, knock you out of the sky while cracking your by cracking your shield. 15% damage reduction on the back binders, which in this mode are your wings, I'm pretty sure. And nitro G ability boost, which works the same as the uh, mobile suit version. So yeah. All right, that is uh, pretty much the gist of it. We are going to uh, take this into the standard training grounds and see what we can come up with. I've got everything uh, set to 500 again because we will get Zox with a certain amount of stun protection so we can uh, so we can see uh, exactly what kind of build stun some of the otherwise stunning attacks will do. Ready to begin? All right, here we are. Not a bad looking suit. And, okay, it's a hover. I didn't. I kind of didn't expect that, but all right. Beam rifle. 
1924 with type disadvantage against a Gundam 100 points lower than it is. Uh, let's see. Burst fire 349 takes two bursts which overheat you to stun. Uh, probably just much more efficient to go ahead and uh, uh, go ahead and charge the thing I'm betting. Railgun does uh, stun. We'll go test that other uh, we'll go test that on the Zoc and see how much uh, build stun it and the beam rifle cause. It is uh, 2632. It, the railgun may not have piercing because I don't see any marks on the ground. I also didn't look at the amount of stun like a dummy. Okay, so that's about like a fifth of the bar. Let's do that again and actually pay attention. Okay, one railgun shot is like two-thirds of the bar in terms of stun. That is not bad. Um, you're going to have to com probably combo that to uh, make the best use of it. For example, beam cannon, railgun. Yeah, that'll get you a stun. All right, let's check out the charge shot on the uh, on the beam cannon, which is... Okay, it's just a twin shot, which not terrible. Let's check the stun value on that against the Zoc also. Yeah, not terrible. It's definitely not as impressive as the one on the standard uh, Delta Kai, but yeah, not bad. Not bad damage, about 50% build stun, I think. Comboing from this to the railgun will probably get you a stun. Uh, probably would, if not for the de whole dead thing, but... All right, let's look at melee patterns here real quick. Uh, okay, fairly fast for that. It has a two-part... Uh, the neutral is that vertical uh, swing. Uh, the down swing is stab, then slash. That's not bad. Left and right are left and right. Okay, so let's look at the blast bolt here. Okay, it just kind of punches forward with uh, uh, neutral. Let's see if left and right have any kind of difference. And those and down swing. Okay, yeah, it will swing over to the side with uh, with left. Try it again with right. This is, of course, a very slow process because of the uh, uh, long cooldown, but oh well. Okay, yeah. And let's see what the down swing looks like. Waiting for the downswing to be ready. And. Okay, pretty good range. And to be honest, I like that the momentum stops at the end of the swing because that is. You know, you're going to know exactly where you stand to uh, when you get this going. Let's see wh how much damage the downswing does. 5,010. That. Uh, it appears to calculate everything all at once, so yeah, it, it's uh, you know, the blowback and all that is uh, is baked into that number. That was too far away, so we wait another ten seconds and smack this again. Let's see, uh, forty-three seventy-nine, and it causes a knockdown, and yeah, it does seem to be a knockdown that like pushes you back a little bit. It's a standard downswing. Not going to be able to demonstrate on this Gundam because it's too far gone, but let's just take it out. Right? Yeah, let's do, do a downswing on the Zoc so we can see if there is a difference. Um, let's see. Standard downswing is. Yeah, it just. It, it trips backwards a little bit, but not much, and it falls over. Let's see if this really does have a difference uh, to it like I think it does. Yes, when it says blowback, it's not kidding. So, if you go, if you uh, use this, um, you use this on a support up on the ledge, it's going to knock them down to where the rest of your team can get at. That's going to be interesting. That's, let's see, 7400 on the neutral version of this. I'm going to see what the downswing hits this Zoc over here for. See? 8913. Very nice. All right. So, yeah, we're going to I wish it wasn't a hover suit. I'm not great with the momentum on those. You can see the drift as I move from side to side and then stop with more of it, of course, if you uh use your boosters. But but you know, that is that is a, as old as the game in terms of the mechanics. So, 
at this point you probably either made peace with it or not if you've been playing for a while. If not, if you're relatively new to the game, it is something to keep in mind when you're playing hover suits like this, the Dom, the Dreissen, you know, things of that nature. All right, let's look at some uh, transformed skills. All right, so the beam rifle, yeah, still the same thing. Let's see, beam cannon transformed, so it should be... Okay, well, I hit the shield. That doesn't help in terms of calculating anything, but... Uh... All right, uh, let's... Let me try that again. I'll get a good run up this time, so we have uh, space to check it out. All right, so... About the same. About the same. Okay, so yeah, the only other... Okay, it does... That's right, it does have the railgun, and yeah, you can tell, just like the beam rifle, the fact that it ha currently has half its ammo means that it's going to be the same... Uh, the same ammo gauge in mobile suit or mobile armor mode, which, you know, also proven by the fact that it's now reloading. All right, so the next thing we need to test in, then in mobile armor mode is the uh, special bomb transform. Okay. The blast bolt. Okay. Um, okay, it stays active. It stays active and lets you just ram into things and knock them over while it's active. That, wow, just imagine, like, ramming through a whole pile of enemies lined up. I've done that in the past. I uh, I have done that to a, a group of enemies that uh, were in my way. I, I do drive-bys like that on groups pretty frequently. I am going to be very concerned if that uh, also affects my allies, but, okay, here, that's on. Boom. Okay, it looks like... My, my fears are assuaged a little bit there because it looks like even it looks like it just goes to overheat the second it connects. So it is not something that you can uh, just you know get uh, you know get through a whole group on. If you line up two things correctly, given that that is an explosive effect, you might get uh, you know multiple hits out of it. But all right, let's test this railgun thing again. I'm gonna fire one shot at the wall. Um, yeah, it does leave a big dent in the wall. And we're going to fire one again through the Zod. And it also left a big uh, dent in the wall. So yeah, piercing confirmed. That's good. So I feel like that should be a thing that railguns just do, generally. But uh, also just, yeah, just to just being able to uh, confirm that is a good thing. So get ourselves a good clear picture of what this can do. All right, so some of the other skills it has, just for the record. Um, it has forced injectors at a good high level, so as you can see, you can change directions quite a bit without overheating your thrusting. Um, it has... waiting for the boost to come back down a little bit, but this should be okay. It has a salt booster, which gives you faster jumps and protection during those jumps. It has the mid -air, the move that lets you do mid-air maneuvering just like that. You can do double jumps, you can do boosts, and wow, the efficiency on that is pretty great. Like, with things that have lower levels of those skills, you can overheat just by do doing those couple of little moves. It, of course, does have Emergency Evasion Level 2, which, yeah, does ha does leave you with a little bit of boost uh, after one roll so that you can do another one if you need. And let's see, Shield... Let's... Oh, yeah, I'm not going to be able to show Shield Tackle quite doing what Shield Tackle does because I have uh, counters turned on, but we need to look at both counters, too. This is the default, which is just a kick. And let's turn on, uh, turn my hit points down to 40%, which activates nitro, which should, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it should mean uh, faster charging things on top of everything else. And the counter is... Okay, okay, yeah, a couple of slashes in the blast bolt, so that should be really good damage. Looks like it was, too, but, uh, right, and we'll just finish this Gundam off here. There we go. Okay, so, trying to think if there's anything else that needs, uh, tested. Okay, yeah, uh, basically if something, yeah, if you're close enough to things, they will show up on your, uh, they will show up with identifiers on your radar, which... You know, at medium to low health, going to be 
very useful because that means that you can aim for the things that you have type advantage against and hopefully avoid the ones you don't. So, let's see. Boom. 5870 is not bad for type neutral. All right, I am going to turn my hit points back up to full. And we are going to turn on enemy AI and see if we can do anything decent with this. I think we probably can, but, uh, nope, just still trying to get used to it. Okay, the Zagok is, did it turn it? Yeah, it did. Okay. Yeah, like I said, uh, you use that on one person and it will uh, deactivate. So there's the ramming skill. I'm pretty sure that the 2000 is, that may be with or without the boost skill active. I'm not quite sure. We'll find out in a moment, but this Zoc that I softened up before is about to be eh, Not taking a ton of damage uh, from uh, Zoc beams, and this is, of course, uh, as hopefully, uh, you know, hopefully I remember. Uh, okay, only hit one of them, but that's just the angle, I think. It's about to do the uh, Mazer. I dodged the Mazer, hoping to get a good lineup so I can... Uh, Test that railgun again. I'd like to hit multiple live targets with it. Don't see the Gundam. Oh well, I'll just fight. Okay. There we go. Yeah, that knockback I think is going to be really, really vicious. And and okay, so t the ram attack does slightly or the uh, the uh, words Rob. On. Uh, the, uh, that thing. Yeah. The blast bolt. That's what it's called. Thank you. Um, does a little bit less damage, uh, more damage than a neutral swing, less than downswing, I think, when, uh, you hit it on transformed mode. So, but yeah, the, okay, I did not hit with the, uh, thing there. And I got mazered right out of the sky. So, yeah. All right. I've got four things on me. Try that. Uh... Nope, railgun I did not line up the railgun shot still. But yeah, I, I this seems pretty good. I think the blast bolt's going to be incredibly useful uh, when uh, people get used to using it. I think that knockback, again, is going to be absolutely devastating for supports... Uh, in sniper positions, especially on the new uh, map where you can fall quite away and be vulnerable all the way down after you uh, after you take a hit from this thing. Like, I, that just figures somehow. I mean, it's only at one cost where, the, uh, where it's even an issue, but it's just like, okay, hey, we just made a new map that's pretty good for snipers. We just made a uh, really nasty counter sniper skill. Yeah, look at the air on that Zoc after I hit it. Yeah, when the thrusters, I think when the thrusters get some extra flare up is when they actually. I did not ask you, Zoc. Ah, there's the railgun hit. Excellent. So. And I'm not sure that the uh, AI for this is counting the. This is a melee weapon yet, because uh, they usually counter me a lot more efficiently than I just got. So. And the Zoc drops. Get that. Random fire to see if I could hit more than one thing. I haven't checked to see if the beam cannon has piercing. Um, doesn't look like it. Could be wrong. But let's try it again. Just back off a little bit and see if I can get a shot off. Ooh. Yeah, I don't think I don't think either of those have piercing. Yeah, we can pretty conclusively say that doesn't because it did not leave uh, did not leave a burn mark on the. Uh, uh, water tower behind it, so. Okay. The Gundam definitely knows that's a melee attack, because it just, you know, grabbed me out of the air like it does. Okay, so. Yeah, this thing is pretty decent. Got it. Okay. Okay, got the con I got the both hit to the melee with that. And got mazered unto death. But yeah, so far so good. I, I'm liking the look of this. It has a lot going on. Uh, but yeah, I think I think it has quite a few good tools. Like I said, I think that I think that uh, blowback thing is going to be like 
absolutely a pain to anybody who likes to get up on a ledge and snipe, or anybody who likes to get up on a ledge at all. Um, I can see it being a nuisance for flying suits too, because you can just you can just transform and fly up to them and just knock you know, knock them off their pins as easy as anything. So, but there's well, there's some of the stun defense. So, and there's the. Uh, I think that was just my standard ram attack uh, uh, that killed it because I did it did not uh, run down my special bomb. Okay, so I want to ch uh, check out. Okay, here is yeah that is yeah yeah that is the flare you get when from the uh, ram from the uh, extra ram attack damage uh, taking effect. That, that flash of thrusters means that second ram attack I hit against the Zoc uh, probably hit harder than the first one. Let's see if I can actually do it uh, do it in such a way where we can see the damage. Let's see. And... No, no, I can't. Now, of course, the problem with doing that uh, ram attack, you know, at top speed for extra damage, uh, I think it's. I think it was two thousand for the uh, special ram attack. Yeah, so probably a thousand. But what was it three? Can't see because uh, going by too fast. But yeah, that's the, that's the problem with trying to uh, figure out ram attack damage. Is it's kind of hard to see that sometimes. Okay, got that off. Okay, beam rifle and railgun not quite enough to land a stun. But that off is down. I'm going to go fight the Gundam one more time, I think, and then we'll uh, call it there. Hit it, hit it on the shield. It countered me, of course. But, oh well. Okay, let's try this once more. And just go... Uh, let's see. Let's just do a basic combo. It's done. Okay, the shield broke. That's good. Downswing went past. That triggered the tackle, so... I can at least hit it with a few things before it turns around and kills me. Which it will probably do. Okay, yeah. He did stuns and missed that. It missed that. Good. I'll just uh, I'll just exploit my uh, stun defense here. And the ready up time on the uh, blast uh, bolt bolt is enough that landing it on a downed enemy does not seem to be particularly. get this thing on the ground and then I'll try that once more if I do it right and I'll respawn to try this because I want to see but, yep okay yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna knock something down swap to blast bolt fast as I can and see if I can get at least the neutral off but I have a feeling it's been calibrated to not be something you can follow up with so because yeah it's uh you know it's got a pretty potent effect so they they want people to have as much of a chance to uh, defend against it as possible is my is my guess but all right let's try that try it on the gundam that should be relevant that should be about the best chance i get so we are going to go stun the railgun into downswing into Okay, it is fast enough, but also it's kind of an overhead swing, so I think it was because I was in the middle of the re-ready timer that it did not work before. I'm going to try this again, because I want to learn, but okay. Kind of neat to see the Gundam doing Gundam things like that, but okay. I don't think I hit the Gundam. I did hit the Zok. Yeah, I think this may just be a very difficult weapon to hit things on the ground with. Oops. I was hoping that would work, because I was on the uh, building and it wouldn't register, but... Nope. Okay, so... Try that again, though. Stun. One, two... And... Oops, it didn't knock it down. That's a problem. Side swing did not uh, catch it. Oh, I'm getting to make all kinds of fun mistakes here, so... Okay, well, that might be one way to check it. Nope. Drop got in the way of my shot, so... Well, hey, let's try this. Gundam stays up there, which is what I want it to do. Boom! Right off the edge of the building, like I said. Yeah, that's going to be a useful skill. Alright, yeah, so I think... 
I think you probably can hit uh, things with the blast bolt while they're down, but it's going to have to be... It's going to have to be something like a Zok, because it's going to have to be something very large. Skinny, th uh, skinny things like the Gundam, it's not going to work. Oh, yeah, okay. Do, yeah, let me try that on a Zok. I can just fire two bursts of the uh, beam shield cannons to stun one, knock it down, then tag it with the blast bolt, and then we'll call this. This is a long one. But I am kind of interested by this thing's abilities, so that is fine. Yeah. All right, now. Yeah, there's the Zoc. Gonna roll right up on it and stun it with two bursts. Wanna get a little closer. One, two, two. Thank you. Down, and it's dead. That was not useful. Okay, let's uh oh yeah, I haven't tested the Vulcans yet to see what, how their build stun is. That's a thing worth checking. Functional, but very slow. So if you land a hit with the railgun uh, on them, something with stun defense like the Zok and to follow it up, Vulcans are viable. They'll keep the build stun going, but not the most efficient. Will be kind of slow, so just be warned. Okay. One, two. Knock down, and oh, Yes, you can combo it. So didn't quite kill on that one combo, but got really close. Within a railgun shot, so... All right, yeah, so yeah, let's do a larger jump. Boost. Jump. Okay, yeah, there, there. you have to be in, in the fall, pre-fall animation a certain amount of time before uh, it will let you jump again. Um, that's after a boost or something like that. If you just, yeah, if you start to drop, you can do it again immediately. But, okay, yeah, so, yeah, this has a lot of potential, so... Good luck to everybody that wants this. I hope you get it. And that is going to do it for today's Gun and Battle Operation 2. We will be back soon with more. Till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later!